What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. We're gonna be taking a look at 10 really cool tweaks from Cydia that I think you guys might like. Alrighty guys, now we're going to be taking a look at 10 really cool tweaks from Cydia. I will leave all of the tweak names down in the description uh, for those of you that might want to try any of these out. So um, if you forget what the tweak name is during this video, be sure to check out the description because it's listed there. Uh, but anyways, coming in at number 10 is called Hide Badge Text. Uh, this is a very simple tweak from Cydia uh, that just allows you to hide the text that is in the badges on your app icons. As you guys can see, um, I don't have any, any numbers in those badges. It's basically just um, a notification circle, I guess you could say. Uh, just lets me know that I do have a missed notification uh, for that application, and it doesn't actually show how many, and I really like it because it's simple. Uh, there's no settings to configure. You download it, install it, and it works. Again, that's called Hide Badge Text. Coming in at number nine is called Weather Peak. Uh, this is going to allow you to access your location's weather uh, and forecast from various areas on your device. If we swipe uh, to the right here, you can access it right on your springboard. As you guys can see, it shows uh, the temperature for my current location, the high, the low. Um, it, you even do have a hourly forecast and then a 10-day forecast below that. Uh, you can swipe down on Spotlight. Uh, and there you go, as you can see there is the weather peak in Spotlight as well. And then the last place that you can access it is actually on your lock screen. Um, and it's basically a time replacement. As you can see it shows um, the current temperature, my date and time, the hourly forecast, and also a little icon to show the current weather. So very cool, simple tweak. Again, that's called weather peak. Coming in at number eight is a tweak that's been out for a very long time, but I think people tend to forget about some of the, you know, the really amazing tweaks that have been made. Uh, this tweak is called Multi Icon Mover Plus. So this allows you to move multiple icons at once, and it is such a time saver. It's literally one of my favorite tweaks. So uh, if we go ahead and put our icons into wiggle mode, as you guys seen, you can go ahead and select on certain applications, and then you can go ahead and pick what page you want to move those apps to, go ahead and click your home button, and bam, uh, they simply move to that page. Uh, a very, um, a very uh, functional tweak that'll save a lot of time on your device uh, if you move your apps around a lot. Uh, so that, again, is called Multi-Icon Mover Plus. Coming in at number seven is called No More Separators. So when you're in a list view uh, on your device, as the settings is right here, which would normally have the separator lines, um, basically you know, separating each individual uh, section of settings, this tweak removes those separators. And it looks much more clean, if you ask me. This does work system-wide. So as you guys seen, settings has no separators. Uh, Control Center does not have any separators. The Messages app here also does not have any separators. And like I said, it is system-wide, and I really like the effect uh, that it gives for your device. It just makes it look uh, much more simple and clean-looking. Again, this tweak is called No More Separators. Coming in at number six is called Control Pane. Uh, if we go ahead and hold our lock uh, or sleep button or also power off button, so if we hold it as if we're going to power down our device to get the slide to power off, here is Control Pane. So you can see that you can still power your device off. You can respring your device. You have access to your system toggles. You can change the volume and the brightness all from control pane. Coming in at number five is called Epicenter. This is a passcode replacement for your lock screen. As you can see right here, a very cool tweak. Um, it's just basically a uh, new style to um, you know replace your passcode buttons. And I really like the way that this uh, operates. So you can simply slide the number to the lock um, icon to uh, enter it, or you can just simply press it. Uh, just press the zero, and then I'll input the rest of my passcode. It has a nice little animation, and there's uh, actually some pretty cool settings uh, that you can change with Epicenter. So let's go ahead and go into Epicenter here. Um, you can actually scramble the number positions, so it'll put the numbers in a completely different position, and you can use the button location, so even if the numbers are scrambled, you can still enter where the uh, numbers originally are at. That's a bit complex for this video, but I'll show you that uh, it does scramble 
the numbers as you guys can see and each time that you do open up epicenter it will scramble those numbers to make it more confusing for people and it's a pretty cool concept uh, again that tweak is called epicenter coming in at number four is called type cast uh, basically what this tweak does is it puts the uh, now typing kind of little animation as a badge on your messages app the kick app or the whatsapp it's going to let you know that uh, somebody is replying to one of your messages it also puts a little icon up in your status bar uh, letting you know that they are now typing and you can also have it so that it shows um, you know the red icon as well so you can see when somebody has read your message uh, and you can have that as a icon in your status bar also very well put to put together tweak again it is called type cast coming in at number three is called minimal HUD I do like the way that this tweak is put together uh, it's a bit different there's a lot of tweaks that do the same thing that this does but basically it alters the volume HUD that normally pops up in the middle of your screen uh, you can have it in a specific um, location I like to keep it next to my volume buttons in the upper left uh, you can position it on the bottom the top the left or the right um, and then you can also change the theme of it as well you have the stock iOS look you have warm rainbow and translucent gray I like the warm effect so if we go ahead and turn my volume up as you can see there in the upper left hand corner there is the volume indicator and uh, it does not move its position so when you rot rotate your device to watch a video uh, it will always show the volume indicator uh, right by your volume keys so it's a very cool tweak again that's called a minimal HUD coming in at number two is called dark CC and it does just like it says it basically makes your control center uh, much more dark and it, it has a great look to it it actually matches notification center better it's not so bright and annoying if you ask me that's one of the things I never liked about control center being so bright is at night when I go to turn my brightness down I literally get blinded every time I open this but uh, with dark CC as you guys can see it gives it a real nice dark theme and uh, it's a very simple cool tweak again it's called dark CC and last but not least coming in at number one is called death banners 2 now this tweak I actually covered in its own review video basically in a nutshell what it's gonna do is change the color of your notifications on your device It'd be banner notification uh, lock screen banners and also notification center so if we go into the banner section uh, we can go ahead and just do a test just so you guys see what it looks like so there you go it basically color matches your banner notification background uh, to kind of match the app icon and it's really cool looking uh, you can have color saturation and you can change the saturation with this slider you also do have color alpha that you can adjust which is basically the transparency uh, so you can make it however you want it to look and you also do have the option for the unicorn effect uh, which is pretty awesome looking so if we turn that unicorn effect on and we do another test banner as you guys can see it basically kind of uh, cycles through different colors it gives it kind of like a, a rainbow effect which is pretty awesome looking uh, so that's the banner section uh, you also do have you know your lock screen banners which is basically the same as the banner notifications and then you do have uh, notification center and we can go ahead and turn on the unicorn effect for that so that's basically what death banners does is it colorizes the notifications on your device uh, so I think it's a pretty awesome tweak but anyways those are 10 really cool tweaks from Cydia uh, they're all pretty recent for the most part so I hope you guys did enjoy this tweak lineup if you did be sure to throw a thumbs up uh, also if you guys want to get paid apps for free check out the link in the description I'd highly recommend it it's an awesome service uh, to get a lot of popular paid apps just 100% free uh, but anyways if you guys want to see more top 10s I'll also leave my top 10 playlist uh, the link for that is in the description as well uh, I think this would be part three for the tweaks I also have themes and all that so be sure to check out that playlist but anyways if you guys want to see more jailbreak videos like this don't forget to click that subscribe button this has been Jeremy and I'll catch you guys in the next one later